you'll see knobs that are absolutely huge, ones that come all the way down to here. I want you to think about the strength of these kids, especially might <laughs> and squirts. The wider our hand gets, the weaker we get. Okay? The closer to a fist, the stronger we get. So they got to be small. And what I do is take a regular roll of tape, slice it in half, you know, get a strip like that in half, and you roll it into kind of a roll a couple times around. It's got this little ribbed effect tape on there. That gives them enough to grip, but it also doesn't make it so wide. So just observe that. We want the sticks to be as light as possible. So if they got tape all the way down here, that's double of what you see here. Waste it, waste it, okay? Uh, height to stick, this is something you wanted me to say. It, it's all personal preference, but especially for mini mites, don't want it for mites, you don't want the stick too short because what happens then is it pulls their shoulders over their toes and they get out of balance. A slightly longer stick will keep them up to where, you know, then we just got to get them bending their knees. But the rule of thumb is when you have your, uh, your uh, shoes on, that it's to the tip of the nose, and then with, with skates, it'll be lower lip to chin, but it's kind of personal preference. But right around this here, this area, like mine's right at my chin, I used a little shorter stick, but that was something that I developed later on. But chin to nose, that's, that's a good kind of medium, happy medium. White and black tape on the stick plate, what do you prefer? What do you recommend? Black. Why? <coughs> okay. How about you? White. White? How about you? Black. Black? Why? Okay. Does anyone else have another reason why black tape? What's in my bag? <laughs> <laughs> And sometimes, you know, you got to think. Uh, Scott Bukestead kind of did an informal study with guy, goalies that he knew regarding uh, that theory that the, the black tape hides the puck. Not one of them said it made a difference. Okay? If you're going to shoot, from my perspective, developing stick handling and what of us coaches want the players to do with their eyes when they have the puck, we want them to get it off. Much easier when there's a color contrast and being able to pick that puck up you have white tape on black. So let them develop into a player later on if they want to use black tape, but I 100% recommend mites, squirts, peewees, white tape on the stick, because you want them to acquire the skills and be able and start working on getting their eyes up. And speaking of that too, if you are doing drills, one thing you can do to get them working on vision training Let's say they're just in the shuffle stride, dribbling from goal line to blue line. Have them dribble, flip back, dribble, flip back the other way. And it's an easy way to get them to start getting their eyes up a little bit. Uh, taping the stick. This is another observation one. And mine needs to be taped, but if, if it's worn out here, it's well overdue. And so many players' sticks are a disaster, okay? And the tape gets worn, it doesn't perform well. So encourage them to tape their stick much like they sharpen every other practice, because they're, they're going to be able to handle the puck much better by doing that. Um, and I guess wax works if you tape it, use it for a period, and then retape it in between periods, because it gets real slippery once it gets wet. Um, I don't like using wax, and a lot of kids, you know, they, it's cool to have that little bag wax for the game and stuff like that. But Do you open the door for the deal? Taping? Uh, any, any preference on anyone? Toe to heel taping? Anyone do that? Okay, I recommend heel to toe. And reason being is that when you do that, when the stick is traveling over the ice, there's less friction. If it was the opposite way, you're going to, at each one of these seams, it's going to start rolling up, it won't last as long, and it won't perform as well. And then, you know, you see some kids that have just taped here, some here. I, I go heel to toe, some like to wrap the toes away, that's fine too. Um, when you do that, you cut it with the scissors, then this use, there you can use your wax, put a little wax on there and that'll keep that seam together. Um, any other questions? <coughs> Oh, what about my stick? It's younger, up older, and 
You know, it's pretty standard that a lot of the lies for the kids. One way that you can, and Aaron, you might be able to answer, but a lot of times if you're, where your tape is wearing out is a determiner on if you have the right lie. If it's an even wear, that means it's the correct lie. If you have a lot of uh, wear on the heel of the blade, that means you're gonna probably have a higher lie. If it's more on the toe, then you're gonna probably be a lower lie. But, uh, you know, there's, it's a hard one, but I don't, it's not a big thing, because I don't think as the youth come up, it's, it's gonna make or break them. You want them handling the puck. It's more when you get older and you're trying to get more accurate with your shooting and the performance of the stick. Like my oldest, we ended up having to get uh, pro stock sticks made because he was in that in-between phases of flexes. So you gotta you know, get a half dozen of them and they'll make the flex that you need, but it's forever changing. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not a, Scott Bukestead's really very knowledgeable on that. I just want to tell you that Northeast, this Northeast beer is really good. <laughs> so that's about all I 